If you're looking to run a Miria node on a VPS, well, in this video, I'm gonna go step by step and show you exactly how to do it. All of the steps you need to get going with running a Miria node on a VPS. And we're also gonna be taking a look at how to run it on a Windows computer or on a Mac. So first things first is you're gonna wanna go to Miria.com and I'm just gonna assume that you guys know how the ecosystem works and that you guys have a wallet it on Miria. So if you go on to your wallet and you actually connect it to Miria, you're going to be able to click nodes here and you're going to see whether or not you have a license. So for my case, I have purchased a license and it says one. And right now I have one node running. Now, if you don't have a license, you can click on nodes and you can go buy nodes. And right now one node is worth around 4,500 USD. And remember that you can only purchase a Miria node you using the Miria tokens. And this is exactly the amount of Miria tokens you need to buy to actually buy a node right now. And the price of Miria is sitting around 0.043 but that is essentially just worth $4,500 USD. So now that we have our node license, what we wanna do is we wanna select a virtual private server or a VPS provider that we're essentially going to have to pay a monthly fee to for them to give us a VPS and for us to run our nodes on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my face cam here so you guys can see the entire screen. And I am gonna be leaving links in the description down below as well. But they do have a full tutorial on support.miria so you can follow along there as well if you miss any parts of this video. And they also have a video tutorial on Twitter. Again, I'm gonna be leaving links in a description below. But first things first is we need a VPS account. So they offer or recommend Vulture. I went ahead and I was looking at a few different VPSs. I was looking at Vulture, UpCloud, uh, NerdRack, and I was looking to see where I could get the better deal. I ended up choosing Vulture because it seemed like it was the cheapest one out there. And I was looking, so if you go to Vulture, I do have a referral bonus if you were looking to potentially get up to $100 for using my referral code that's entirely up to you apparently I get $35 back too so I'm gonna leave this in the description below and again if you want to use that it looks like you're gonna have to be active for at least 14 days and that you're gonna have to spend at least $35 but if you're running a node you're gonna be paying about $30 per month on this VPS service so again I'm gonna leave that up entirely up to you. You can probably search the web as well and find other deals. I think I found a deal that gave me $250 for the first 30 days. So obviously do your own research and take my link or don't, it's all up to you. So from the documents here, you need four gigs of RAM, two CPUs, 60 gigs of storage, this processor and a stable connection. So if we go back to Vulture, if you go to products here and you go to cloud compute, you're gonna be able to click deploy now. Now, once you're on this page, make sure you go back to cloud compute because it auto toggles to this here. You're just gonna be paying more and you don't need all of these specs. So cloud compute, and then you're gonna wanna scroll down here and select your server location. So you can literally click any of these locations. I don't think it matters much. I'm in Canada, but I'm running my server out of New York. Again, I don't think it really matters. Now, as we continue scrolling down here, the server image or the operating system that you need on your server is going to be Ubuntu and you want the latest version, which is 23.04 times 64. Again, you can follow all of these descriptions or different steps in their tutorial here and that's going to be in the description as well. So going back to Vulture as we selected Ubuntu, now we continue scrolling down and here is where we select our server size. So remember you need two CPUs, four gigs of RAM and you need at least 60 gigs of space. So we're going to be choosing this one here which is going to run you for about $24 per month or after taxes about 2880. 
Now, once you've selected this server, you're gonna wanna keep scrolling down and you're gonna want to go and disable this check mark here. So you don't want this box to be enabled. And again, if you're following along with this tutorial, you're gonna see that it says uncheck enable IPv6. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you're doing that as well. Now, going back here, you're gonna be able to name your server whatever you want. I named mine Miria node slash one, and then you're gonna be able to enter a server label. I think it kind of just populates it automatically. So there you go. And once you've done that, you're gonna be able to click deploy now. So I've already deployed my server. I'm not gonna go ahead and deploy a new one. I actually just deployed a new one by accident. So let me go ahead and stop this one because I don't need it but as we can see now we have a VPS running with the minimum requirements we need to run a Miria node and this is my server right now running so what you're gonna see is you're gonna have an address. This is your IP address that you're gonna need to log in to your server to then go configure it so that's the next step we're going to do. Now here is where it gets a bit more complicated. If you're using a MacBook, you're gonna have to go ahead and download Putty. I will be leaving a link to a video I used yesterday. It goes through every single step. There's about three different things you have to download. And then finally, you're gonna be able to see this screen here, which is used to actually log into your VPS. Now, if you're doing this on a Windows computer, you can literally just Google Putty download and you're gonna be able to download it. But on Obviously, if you're on Mac, you're not going to be able to do that. So again, links are going to be in the description below to download Putty. Now, what you want to do is you actually want to log into your VPS. And the way to do that is you go root at and then you put your address, your IP address of your server. So in my case, I'm going to be putting this one here. So 104.156. 250246. So again, that's going to be your own address. So 104.156.250.246. That is my address to my VPS. And then you want to click open here. Now what that's going to bring up, if I just bring it up here, it's going to open up your putty window. Now, as you can see, it's going to ask you for your password and to find your password, you're gonna be able to go and click on your actual node and you're gonna see a password here. So obviously I'm not gonna show you my password, but you're gonna be able to click on this and it's gonna show your password and then you can change it afterwards. But just if you're looking to change your password, just Google how to change my VPS password and you're gonna be able to follow those steps. Now, if it's your first time using Putty, you're going to probably freak out because when you type in your password, it's not going to show up, but just don't worry, just keep typing it. And once you're done typing it, hit enter and you're gonna be able to log in. So I typed in my password and as you can see, I hit enter, but my password doesn't actually show up here. So just type it in, hit enter, and you're all good to go. Now, once you have this here, what you're gonna wanna do is if we continue with this guide here, obviously we've went through putty. Now, what you're gonna be able to do is actually copy paste these commands into putty. So you're gonna wanna copy this, of course, control C, command C, whatever the case may be. Then you go back to putty and the way to actually paste it in putty, either sometimes it's a right click, other times it's a control shift V. So just do whatever works for you. I'm not too sure why mine, my right click wasn't working. I had to do control shift V and then it worked but you're gonna be able to paste that in. Now, I'm not gonna do it again because I've already done it and I don't wanna screw up anything. So what we're gonna do is once you've pasted that into Putty, you're gonna be able to type in another command, which is going to be Miria-node space dash dash help. And this is just gonna bring up the different things you can do with the Miria node inside of your VPS. 
Now, just to show you this, we're gonna go quickly on this demo. I'm just gonna mute it real quick and we're gonna go to that line. So as we can see, this person is putting their password into Putty now. Then once they logged into their actual VPS, the first command you're gonna have to paste in there, just like I showed you was on the website, you're gonna be able to paste that and then hit enter. Now it's gonna run a bunch of different things and it's going to now allow you to paste a new command Command, which is that second command we just looked at. So as we paste that in, we're gonna be able to see exactly what happens. And this is the command Miria dash node node and then space dash dash help. And then that's going to essentially bring up this option here, this menu option. And then it's going to ask you what you wanna do. So you're gonna to want to paste in the next command, which is again on this website. So you're gonna to want to click or paste Miria dash node space dash dash start. Once you've done that, it's going to ask you for your API key. Now the way to actually get your node API key is if you go back to Miria, you go back to nodes and you go to your actual dashboard, you're gonna be able to click manage here. And once you manage that, you're gonna be able to generate an API key and it's going to generate you like a thousand different letters and that's your API key that you're gonna then copy and paste into Putty. So again, if we take a look at the tutorial, this is essentially what is done here. So if we take a look at his API key, that's this entire pasted line item here. Again, it's a bunch of different no or a bunch of different characters. You're gonna be able to paste that in and then hit enter. Once you hit enter, you're gonna essentially be done. That's your final step. It says started node successfully. If you have any issues, let me know in the comment section below, but it should be all good. And then you have your node running. Now you can obviously stop your node. You can check the status of your node with all of these commands inside of Putty. But just to make sure that your node is actually running once you've completed that, go back to the Miria dashboard. It may take up to five minutes to actually figure out and update this nodes online. So give it a bit of time and you should see your node become online. Again, if it doesn't work, let me know in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer you guys. I also have a Discord completely free if you wanna join and ask me anything there. Feel free to do that. But then you're also going to see a timer like this this and this is going to start counting down from six hours to zero because as you may remember, in order to get a reward point, you need to run your node for at least six hours in a 24 hour window. So after this three and a half hours, which is left in today or in the last 24 hours, I should be able to go to rewards and actually have a reward point for the day today. So that's essentially how that works. And then your reward point can be converted into Myria tokens. There is a seven day vesting and there's also a tax, but that we've already covered in other videos. And this is essentially how you set up your node. So once that's all done, you should be all good to go just run it it's obviously going to continue running in the background even after the six hours but it's just a set and forget you don't have to play around with it anymore and you can just go about your day and understand that your vps is running in the background yes it's costing you about 30 bucks a month but you don't have to worry about anything and as you sell or you claim your tokens you can obviously compensate for that 30 dollars per month now as i said you can also do this on Windows as well as Mac directly. So if you want to download the software and run your node from your computer, you can also do that. And they do also have guides for you to do so. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.